So, sup bitches? Now, I understand fully that I said I'd only make serious videos about the boring subjects no one else wants to hear except those with an actual IQ, but why not? I decided to give this one a shot since it's something I have a little prior knowledge on and I can say a lot of stuff about it. So it's definitely one of my more analytical videos, but here we go. I think I'm getting less sick now. I still have the nasally voice, but both my nasal passages are pretty much open. Okay, Lil Wayne got into a coma for a little while because of his seizures, and doctors say he's okay right now. Some people are really doubting it, but hey, maybe he is fine. His album is coming out in, I believe, nine or eight days. Since it is on the 26th of March. I think it's, uh, I'm, I'm Not a Human Being Part 2. Regardless, Lil Wayne's going to retire in a few years. And... Believe it or not, I do like some of his mixtape songs, but I don't really care for his album shit. It's just not my style. Well, look, I'm about to lower this shit. I don't want to get some copyright bullshit. Although I doubt Square will be that tight. If they hear like a few seconds of this shit. But anyway. Now I was believed that codeine was part of this. And codeine is an ingredient of dirty Sprite. Or any medicine that people use nowadays. To get drink or get lean oh they don't say get drank but uh, that's what they call it to drink see what they do is they take a little bit of the medicine add some jolly ranchers and put that shit on some sprite usually something like activists and there you go You got yourself some dirty Sprite, which I first learned about this because I was on Instagram and I saw a bunch of people taking photos with this weird looking Sprite and they called it dirty Sprite. And at first I thought it was just Hennessy mixed with Sprite, which, hey, I could find viable. But it turns out it was that scissor, which really confused me. It confused me because I just, I just didn't know about that shit, to be honest. Let me see. Because that shit is weird. Like, I posted a status on Facebook. For the record, what the hell is Dirty Sprite? And then someone told me lean, lol. And I got a few likes. I thought, at first I thought you meant lean by, oh, this shit is wavy, or this shit is awesome. But no, it, it really is called lean. I ended up having to find out about that shit in Urban Dictionary, and then searching it on YouTube, and that's how I know all, all of this shit. <laughs> I just don't know why someone would take it. Basically, once you mix all the ingredients together, you gotta like, you gotta turn it. You can't even shake it or put a, a lot of that activist in because that shit will fuck you up. And considering that you really could become dependent on it, I 
want to fuck with that shit. I don't know. Now, on the other hand, Lil Wayne, I'm guessing that he fucks with that shit still. Probably if he's dependent on it, or maybe he got hooked again, because I heard something about him not fucking with that shit since 2009, but... It really just goes to show you that you, you can't fuck with that codeine shit, uh, or any painkiller stuff. I remember one time a friend of mine found out that you could get high off painkillers. And we all came to a sc- I saw him on a school trip and he just looked really, really faded. I was, I was confused. Because it looked like his eyes were about to roll in the back of his head. Damn. That's not, that's not something you guys should fuck with. Like, I know some of you may be heavy drinkers, which, okay, a lot of people like to get white boy wasted now. I think it's, I think it's cool to drink till you puke, or until you dehydrate, or until you do something that people shouldn't really experience, that level of heavy drinking. Or at least until you get your brains fucked up and you can't remember what happened. That is some weird shit. Don't fuck with that cough syrup. It's not wavy. I see the niggas that fuck with that shit and I definitely think that there are a lot of worse things you can try than that. I'm definitely not a lifestyle coach. Look at my fucking hair. I don't wash that shit often, so I shouldn't be one to give you guys lifestyle decisions. I'm only seven fucking teen guys. Remember that shit. But definitely you guys shouldn't be fucking with that because you just can't handle that shit. That's why. And you can't handle that shit. Although, although you could try meth and that will probably fuck you up even worse. But just don't don't fuck around with that. Codeine. I'm glad my son Lil Wayne's alright. I don't care that he's a fucking Illuminati freak though, because honestly the guy has kids. Imagine having to find out that Basically, you become a bastard child because your scissor predicted dad just fucking died. And I really did think that Lil Wayne was going to die, but no, he's he's fine. For now, at least. By the time he retires, he really does need to make some serious choices. And he retires really soon because... Of those albums that he promised he'd retire after. And he definitely is considering his kids. And the fact that once they reach a serious age. A critical age. He he wants to be there. And I think that that's a noble thing. I think that wanting to be there for your kids. When they need you at most. When they're teenagers. That's fucking noble as all hell. But the guy has to stop fucking with these Illuminati niggas. He has to stop being a fucking freak. I don't give a shit, Dwayne Carter. Or especially you, Sean Carter. I mean, the fact is that... Fuck. Even Kanye. These fucking black-ass mofos repping the Illuminati. They can go to my yick. First up, it's not, it's not cool, and it's corny. It is corny as all hell. Look, you're from New Orleans. You don't fuck with that Vatican shit. You're from down south, man. 
I don't know about Sean Carter. Was he in the Bronx, Brooklyn, around the New York area? I think so. Some of his older music videos had that location. Same with DMX. Them niggas was freaks. I don't give a shit. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say about the issue. That is some weird fucking shit. I ain't fucking with that. Hopefully you aren't too. Uh, I imagine that if I say I ain't fucking with that and then you guys see me on that scissor six months into the future, that'd be really ironic and might even be bad karma if karma actually worked that way. This is Mr. Rocket 7 and suck my Disney.